Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at former Arief Kester. I'm going to be doing some uh, filming with the gimbal camera and also flying the drone about. It is on private land, it's on uh, private farmland now and I can't see anybody to see whether I can get any permission to get on here so I'm going to do as much gimbal camera work as I can and I'll also be flying the drone about as well and getting some great footage. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm not sure what this building is here. It's very close to the gate, whether it's some kind of uh, storeroom or um, guard post, I really don't know. Anyway, that's about all I can see from here. So uh, let's get that drone up and have a uh, good fly about. Situated six miles southeast of Brig, Arief Kester was a training school and relief landing ground during World War II. It had four grass runways and you can see now these are what I do believe are the remains of the uh, World War II buildings. Arief Kester's main role was during the Cold War as in 1958 the Air Ministry turned it into a Thor missile base due to the onset of the Cold War. Arief Kester had three missile launch pads and each missile was a whopping 65 feet tall and 8 foot in diameter. This is a uh, photograph I managed to source on the internet so I've included it here just to show you what a Thor missile looked like. After the demise of the Cold War the missiles were removed in 1963 and the land was sold off in 1964-65. You can see from the drone footage that contractors are actually working at present uh, demolishing the uh, well what, what's left of the buildings. This long piece of uh, concrete here between the two L-shaped blast walls was where the canopy was which covered the Thor, Thor missile when it was laid down. And each one of those L-shaped blast walls is approximately six feet high and about three foot wide, or three foot thick, should I say. There were three of these uh, missile launch pads in total at Kester. Well that's it for our EFK Kester. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.